Let's begin this newscast with a very interesting story coming in from Chile as millions of sky gazers were left in awe as a total solar eclipse plunged parts of South America into darkness. Thousands of people gathered in the Chilean Andes on Tuesday to watch the solar eclipse. Some of the best views were from Chile's sprawling Atacama Desert where a lack of humidity and city lights combined to create the world's clearest skies. The path of totality where the moon visibly blocks the sun spanned parts of Chile and Argentina. The umbral shadow, the area in which the sun is completely covered by the moon pass over the Pacific Ocean, Chile and Argentina. Appearing in the skies of La Serena in Chile, the eclipse travelled over the Andes mountain and before ending near south of Buenos Aires in Argentina. While Chile and Argentina were lucky to have the best views of the eclipse, people as far away as in La Paz, Bolivia, were also able to steal glimpses of the wondrous phenomenon. The total solar eclipse drew people to the Coquimbos to observe the astronomical marvel. Scientists also watched the solar corona through state-of-the-art telescopes. The region has not seen an eclipse since 1592, according to the Chilean Astronomy Society. The next one in the area is expected in the year 2165. But that's not all. A dramatic time lapse has captured the moment the sky darkened for total solar eclipse in Chile's Coquimbo region. The clear skies of Chile changed from blue to black as people waited outdoors to witness the rare moment. Have a look. In other international stories, now the European Commission may get its first woman president very soon. After marathon talks at a summit, European Union leaders have finally agreed on names of those who will be leading its main institutions. They have agreed to give two of the top four jobs to women. European Council President Donald Tusk has praised the deal. We have chosen two women and two men for the four key positions. A perfect gender balance. I am really happy about it. After all, Europe is a woman. German Defence Minister Ursula von der Leyen has been nominated for the President of the Commission. Von der Leyen is a close ally of German Chancellor Angela, Angela Merkel. Her new role has to be confirmed by a vote in the European Parliament and if she does get the mandate, she will become the first woman to hold this position. French woman Christine Lagarde's name has been put forward for the new head of the European Central Bank. French President Emmanuel Macron had proposed her name for the job. This proposal was backed by German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Tusk has said that she would be perfect for the job. Lagarde will replace Mario Draghi at the ECB from November. Christine Lagarde is currently the International Monetary Fund Managing Director. Lagarde took to Twitter to say that she was honoured to be nominated for the presidency of the Central Bank. She said that she has decided to temporarily relinquish her duties as IMF chief during the nomination period. This means that the IMF may have to search for a new leader early. Lagarde's term as IMF managing director was set to end on July, in July 2021 and the IMF has named its first deputy managing director David Lipton as the new acting chief. 
Also, let's have a look at the other two top jobs. Belgian Liberal Charles Michel has been elected by EU leaders as the next chair of the EU summits. He will replace Donald Tusk in the role of President of the European Council for the next five years. He will be tasked with building compromises between the EU member states. Michel was Belgium's youngest Prime Minister when he took office in 2014. The next five years will be very important for the future of the European project and I am convinced that it will be very important to protect and to promote our unity, our diversity and especially also our solidarity. I would want also to thank Donald Tusk for his dedication, for his commitment and also for his friendship. Spain's acting foreign minister Josep Borrell has been tapped to serve as EU's new top diplomat in Brussels. Borrell will also have a seat on the European Commission and hence his appointment is subject to the approval of the parliament. If he gets appointment, he will become the first man to hold the position since 2009. Borrell has served as the European Parliament President from 2004 to 2007. The four of the main jobs have gone to Western Europeans with no nominations from Eastern Europe. However, the fifth top job, which is the role of President of the European Parliament, is yet to be decided. The leaders are expected to decide this today. Now, Brexit MPs turning their backs on EU anthem overshadowed the first session of the European Parliament. Let's bring you more on this.